Balloon Fight is one of the 30 NES black box games as part of the system's catalog of launch titles, even though it came out almost 10 months after the system, and it was a port of an arcade title released two years prior. Let's see what's up! Balloon Fight sounds like it would be fun to do at home. But you're not necessarily fighting with balloons here, instead you're trying to pop the balloons of your enemies and then snuff them out once they land. Yeah, it's an aerial fight to the death. If you've ever played Joust before, then this game will be easy to grasp. Basically, you tap A or hold down B, both make you flap your wings, to hover in the air with two balloons strapped to your back. Your goal is to get slightly higher than your enemies who also have balloons on their back. If you collide with them while being slightly above them, you'll pop their balloon and send them parachuting toward the ground. Swoop down and tag them again before they reinflate their balloon to defeat them completely. If you knock the enemy into the water, their soul will escape in the form of a bubble that you can pop for extra points. In typical arcade port fashion, the points are just for high score purposes which is all you'll be competing for as the game has an endless loop of the same stages. Each level is a single screen, where you can exit left and reappear right and so forth. There are perils below, so if you fall into the water, you're a goner. There are platforms and the occasional obstacle on the screen that will impact where you can go and influence your strategy somewhat. If you dilly-dally too long, the clouds in the background turn into a storm and a lightning bolt will careen across the screen, just something else for you to dodge. If you take a hit from an enemy, you'll lose one of your two balloons, and if you lose both, you're a goner, and you lose one of your three lives. Lose all three lives, and it's game over for you, pal. After three stages, you go to a bonus round where balloons shoot out of these pipes, and your goal here is to collect all 20 before they exit the top of the screen. There is a two-player mode where you can join forces, and one player takes out the enemy's balloon and the other goes after the parachute, or you can compete against each other in a race for sabotage. Lastly, there's one more single-player mode called Balloon Trip. In this one, you get just one life in an auto-scrolling stage where you move left while dodging the lightning burst to collect the balloons. If you touch a bubble, all of the sparks will briefly pause. The number of balloons you have left to collect are in the upper right corner. It's an extremely addictive game mode if I'm being honest. While on the surface, Balloon Fight might seem like it would be too simple of an experience to enjoy for long, I found each mode here to be highly addictive in its own distinct way. Sure, there's no backstory, the character is nameless, the music is shrill and repetitive, and the game itself is highly repetitive, there's still plenty here for one or two players to enjoy if a game with a simple concept but plenty of action is what you're looking for. The original arcade game, titled Versus Balloon Fight on the Nintendo vs. Machine, is largely the same experience. The graphics are slightly better on the arcade, and one difference is the screen can scroll slightly up and down, making for a larger play area. There is a sequel to Balloon Fight that released on Game Boy called Balloon Kid. This one is the balloon trip mode of the NES game, protracted over a campaign of multiple stages. Well, that does it for Balloon Fight on the NES. Always look out for lightning, and thanks for watching.